Good morning, my grade 4 students. How are you? Today, our lesson is about a muscular system serving the skeleton. We are starting a new chapter, which is chapter, which is chapter 2, activity 1, page 30. So you can open your book to page 30. Are you ready? Let's start our lesson now. At the end of this lesson, you are going to determine the functions of muscles. Ping pong. Now let's start our lesson with a small warm up as you So this warm up, you are going to dance and this warm up, you are going to dance. Up, you are going to move your muscle. Oh, it's freezing cold. <sighs> the body is getting cold, so so cold. So cold. Time together. Hey, all the muscles. Yippee. Shaking to the left and shaking to the right. Jumping, jumping, muscle dance. Too hot. Ready to sweat? The body is getting hot, so so hot. So hot. It's time to sweat. Hi. Open the sweat glands. Yep. Signals ordered by the brain. Dripping, dripping through sweat glands. For Hoagie on YouTube! So in the warm up, you moved your body parts and you moved your muscles. And you saw in the video the muscles. Today our lesson is about the functions or the role of the muscle. Now let's see a picture of muscles. So this picture has two parts. The part on the right is for the skeleton. And we know that a skeleton is made up of a, uh, of, uh, of a, around 206 bones so the skeleton is made up of bones and to the left the muscles so those are the muscles and today we are going to learn about them about its function are you ready let's start slide forward and now, down. I want from you to observe the following video and pay attention. This will give you this video a because I'm going slow, to ask you some questions. simple, slightly broken walk. In the video, you saw a puppet. Now, let me ask you some questions. How we move the body parts of the puppet? So, in the video, how the body parts of the puppet move? What did we use to move them? Think, then answer. 
Yay! Yes! So we move the body part of a puppet by pulling the threads. So when we pull the threads, pull them, the puppet moves. So we move the body part of a puppet by pulling the threads. Excellent! Now, I want from you to observe the image, then you have to answer to the question. So, in this figure, figure 1, we see a puppet and we see a little girl. What pulls our bones and have them move? So, we learned that the puppet moves by pulling up the threads. But what pulls our bones and help them move? Think then answer. Excellent. So the muscles pull the bones and make them move. How is that? So our body is made up of bones and muscles. And the muscles help the bones to move. So without the help of our muscles, we cannot move our bones. So the muscles are like the threads of a puppet. They pull the bones and then we move. So when we want to walk, the muscles are going to pull our bones so we can walk. Now the second question is, what role do the muscles play in this case? So what is the role of the muscle in this case? Think then answer. So if the muscles pull our bones to help us, what? So think about the roles of the muscles. Mm. So the muscles produce our body movement. They help us move. How? By pulling the bones. So, now as a conclusion, what is the role of the muscles? Yana, more hands up. What is the role of the muscles? I know, you know the answer. Think. Yay! Yes! Big applause. So, muscles produce body movement by pulling the bones. As a closure, I want from you to send me a video of yourself doing sport. So you can jump in place, you can run, you can do whatever you want. And after doing the sport, you have to tell me what helped you to move your body parts and jump. And don't forget also to copy the questions and the conclusion on your copybook. If you have any questions, don't forget to talk to me via WhatsApp. Bye. See you.